Welcome back, welcome back. No, this is not a regular video. This is a warning. I say it again, this is a warning. This is part two to the video I did a couple of days ago. Uh, the Father has more to say, and I pray that you all take heed. Father, please have your way. Use me and my holy vessel, available for your usage and your usage alone. Let your words go forth, Father. Speak unto your children. Have your way, Lord. Not my will, but thy will be done. Your words, Lord, not mine. May they take heed and may they apply it to their lives in your highest, holy, precious, mighty name. Glory to your holy name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Glory to your holy name and yes, yes, highest, your only begotten Son, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is our Lord and Savior, we pray amen and amen. Have your way, Lord, have your way. It's a warning, and it's part two. They are amongst us. The Father's pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. We all here on purpose. We're supposed to be here to glorify the Lord. We're here. We have our own part to do. And we're not here for no reason. We're not here to just look cute and do what we want to do. We're here to glorify God. Ahaya. When the Father gives you something to say, and he's given many things to say, but they refuse to say it, concerned about what their friends think, what their family's going to say about them. Well, the Lord is concerned that where you're headed, your faith is not in him. There's only one place. There's no in-between. There is no in-between. You choose the Lord or you choose evil. Okay? You either serve the Lord or you serve Satan himself. That's just the bottom line. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. I entrusted my children to you. I entrusted my children to you to take care of them. Many of you have failed my children. I said train up by the word of, by my word, the word of God. Many of you don't even know me. Your children, sure. Many of the children know me, you know. The children know me if you don't. But many of you don't know me. And you choose not to know me. And you ignore me when I reach out to you. I giving your I'm giving your children dreams. I even speak to the little bitty ones. And they come and tell you what I said. And you turn it around to something else or you don't want to hear what they have to say. But I see you. Right now, this world is sunk into perversion. I said the world is sunk into perversion. Filth is everywhere. Everywhere. It's in your homes. It's in the church. The church is the people. It's not the building. I entrusted my children to you, the little ones, so that you could raise them up, teach them how to pray. The children don't know me, don't have been turned inside out. Between the social media, all these platforms. Many of you are living off the backs of my children. Many of you are sacrificing my children for filthy lucre.
You on every platform there is. You've allowed my children being overtaken by the predators. Predators living in your own home. The predators are in the homes of the prey. Their prey. Many of you are sleeping with the enemy. You don't have the spirit of discernment to know that they are amongst you. The children cry out and tell you what's going on with them. You either ignore them or you blame them. You put them through the fire. Your innocence is gone because of what they see you do. They mimic. The babies are full of perversion. The children. Because of what you're letting them see. What you're putting on the TV. What you're putting on the social sites. And allowing these children to see it. You'll think everything that comes out is, you have to have it. Every new device, every new gadget, you must have it. And these are evil inventions, by the way. See, things that could be made for good, that so he told you it was made for, quote unquote, good, they're evil. As I said, the predators are in the homes of their prey. Because you parents are not paying attention, your children are the prey. I watch them. They are amongst us. They watch your children some of them, even from the time they first come home. They have plans for them. They groom them. And while you're busy partying and you leave them in their hands, they're making plans for them. The first opportunity they get, they pounce. Many of my babies died from being abused at the hands of their loved ones. Sexually abused, I said. Physically abused. Children not safe in their own homes. I entrusted my children with you. You failed them miserably. You need to repent and cry out. Beg forgiveness for what you've done to my children. Their blood reached the heavens. Their blood is on your hands. I said, my be God, you saw it. teach you and train you how you should live how you should love how you ought to behave yourself I wasn't having a mindset like this he did not die in vain I love you all, that's why I do what I do. I love you all so very much. I ask you to turn from your wicked ways and cry out to me. Return back to me, I love you. You don't want anything to do with me. You want the benefit. But you're less like a robber and a thief.
you learn all forms the sorcery and witchcraft can't you see I love you I was willing to take care of you I still am willing to take care of you turn back to me I love you I created you Many will perish. Many will perish. Because of their lack of knowledge. Because of their ignorance. I said read my word. Cry out to me and read my word. You read everything else, you watch everything else. Something you want so bad, you will get it in the form of a book and read it. But you won't read my word. My word is about you. My word is about you. It governs how you should live. And honor me. I love you all so very much. Many of you honor me with your mouth. And your hearts are so far, so far from me. I will come and get my children. I'm coming to get my children. There are going to be those that truly love me and seek me. Those that want nothing to do with me as I cry out and as I reach you and I touch you and I tug and you act like you don't hear me. And when I say my prophets, my prophetess, my teachers, my my Watch women and men on the wall. I send my messages. You hear nothing they have to say. You mock them. I damn you mock is me. <laughs> and I will not be mocked. I cannot be mocked. For those of you. And there are many of you. Use that phone to use your laptop. You use your computers, tablets, etc. All forms of social media. And you have that filled in your phone. You know who you are. I see you all. You had that filled in your phone. While my sons and daughters pray for you, and I tell them to keep on praying for that marriage. That's a holy covenant. And you brutalize my child, my children. But you are filth. You're on that, those social media of all sites. You got all that stuff running through your mind and through your heart. You're wicked. I said you're wicked. And you will not go unpunished. I'm not slack. Regarding my promises. As men think I am. I see. Everything that you do. Every filthy word. That come out your mouth. 
the filthy films, the filthy pictures. The filth that you got going through your devices. You're reaching out to any and all. I said the marriage bed will not be defiled and I meant it. You bring home everything and everyone and you put all these devices, all these devices and put all this filth in it. You're even on the phone, you're calling, you're on your tablets, you're on the computers, you're on every form of device that they could. If they, if they had a device you could put that was attached to your body parts, if they were literally attached to your body parts, you so filthy, you would even attach that. You better get delivered. You better repent and cry out. You need deliverance. But you better change and turn from those wicked ways. Because I see you. I see everything you do. While my beautiful children cry out to you. Crying out and praying and crying out to me for you. You are abusing them in every way you can. Every way that you can, you filthy, unclean generation of vipers. I tell them to pray for you. I tell them, remember, I loved you when you were yet in your sins. I tell them to love you and to set that example. Maybe you can win over their hearts and win them to me. But you're going so far apart. Do you not know that I said I will turn you over to your reprobate mind? Repent. Repent before I come on you quickly. There won't be no more need. You'll be no more. You have been warned. Yeah. <sighs>